All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Johnny Eduardo and Eddie Wineland. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Wineland is 36, Eduardo is 42. He will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, 14 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana, Eddie Wigland! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 28 wins. 12 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Johnny Eduardo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on the oh, big knee. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Nice strike. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice slip and counter there by Eddie Wineland. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. If you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Eduardo gets caught by that blistering elbow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big elbow. Wow, huge head kick. Oh! Alright, he 
engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. Oh, 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 the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high on the point, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? All right, there's the clapper, 10 seconds to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the mix. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch there by Johnny and Wolf. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Huge knee land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big punch lands through the middle. Eduardo's got the tie clinch now. And he shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now we need to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into the yeah. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big kick lands. Ryland's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Single collar tie now, and... to grab, he needs to wrestle, he has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Battle for position here. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Eduardo gets caught with that punch, not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Two rounds in the books. 
All right, so a huge yeah. round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. So here we go, third and final round. Oh, nice block there, and then a counter straight punch is good. Nice sequence there by Eduardo. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making figures going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Superman punch. Lineman gets caught with that punch. He's treading well. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to start to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. And he switches to Southpaw. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Eduardo's has got full mount now. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 30 26. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Eduardo. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins 